Good morning, everyone. Rich rising, green rising. The birds are saying hello as well, clearly. Okay, I'm actually going to open the door because I want some fresh air getting in here. Hello, 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 everyone. If you are divine and you are fine, you are welcome here. I speak only to your higher self. And this is going to be a message that I received the other day. And it is simply, God will provide. God will provide, okay? At this time, you may be planning and plotting on things that you want to do, okay? You may be looking around for resources and not being um, <clears throat> satisfied with what you have right now. But Spirit is wanting you to know that God will provide, okay? But listen, you have to take that step first, okay? Even if you have nothing, you have to take that step first because activity flew out. Yeah, go full speed ahead here. Activity flew out, Knight of Wands, okay? So you could have been, I'm here running like a chicken with their head cut off, okay? Trying to figure out how things are going to come about. Spirit is wanting you not to focus on the how, but focus on the what and the why, okay? Focus on your why. What is it that makes you go? Like, what is it that makes you get going here, okay? What is it that puts a pep in your step? Listen, because you are destined for the Ten of Pentacles here, okay? Ten of Pentacles is maximum, maximum blessings, okay? Whatever you see, I'm seeing someone is going to be getting a house built, okay? A house built. You're going to be working with an architect here, okay? And, or just a, a house, okay? Whatever type of living situation you want, and you don't know how it's going to happen, know that God will provide. There's a video on YouTube of this girl. I never watched it, but I always see it. And it's in my mind's eye right now. And it is how she was broke. She, I think the title is like, How God Put Me in a House Even When I Was Broke. Or, I know y'all always see those testimonies or, or whatever. Watch those videos to get you in a gratitude energy, to get you in a... a I'm here in Christ consciousness, but I'm not religious, but that must resonate with you, okay? A Christ consciousness, a higher frequency, a higher vibration, okay? And, and, and indulge in those videos because it's real, guys. It's real. You cannot have something one day and in a month have everything you desire because you had faith, okay? And you, you, put, you put yourself out there. You, 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 you acted on inspired action, listen, regeneration, Bear is letting you know that this is the time for regeneration in your life. Comment down below. This is the time for regeneration here with the spiral emoji, okay? If you are new here, I do giveaways for the people who comment down below the corresponding video or comment down below the corresponding emoji to the video, okay? So today's emoji for this video will be the spiral emoji. And listen, listen. You could have felt like you were spiraling, okay? You could have felt like, yeah, you could have felt like you were restricted in some way, restricted in life in some way. But Spirit said, you know, that is that is becoming undone, okay? All ties will be broken, okay? If you had a nasty soul tie um, that you felt like, like you couldn't get over this person or you kept going back to somebody, you kept going back to a pattern, you kept going back to a habit, you kept going back to a thought form. Spirit is letting you know that this is the time to break through that, okay? And they are assisting you. Yes. Listen, achievement. I'm seeing Britney Spears in my mind's eye. Okay, so your, your parents or your supervisors or your nanny or someone in your childhood could have really did you dirty, okay? Especially if you are a child success okay especially if you reached achievement at a young age someone could have been um controlling you controlling your money controlling your mind okay telling you certain things even if you weren't like a famous person or say quote unquote successful as a child the way you were raised I mean, it was not right okay for some of you this is a specific message the way you were raised were not was not right and sometimes when people are so sheltered and people are only see one way and and are being um manipulated into thinking that this is the way like everyone is living like this it takes them 
getting away from their their childhood it takes them growing up to realize how much trauma that they endure or how much fucked upness was involved in their life here okay and yeah healing okay you could have um not even knew that you needed to heal here okay and i know when i was younger because i didn't know my dad but my mom never really spoke bad about him i didn't know i had daddy issues i just thought i didn't know my dad until I started dating, I'm like, oh, like how I view relationships is kind of misconstrued here. Okay, so that could um, resonate with some of you here. Okay, it's like you didn't know that you needed to heal. But it's like now that you are healing, the world is yours. I'm here sitting on top of the world, top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. My baby make it stop the world. Okay, it's like Ace of Cups here. Emotional fulfillment is right around the corner. It's not here for you right now here, okay? God will provide. God will provide. God is providing. God is always providing. There is nothing that I lack. I have everything in my possession that I need right now. I am in alignment with all of my desires. Whatever I desire, I acquire, okay? When you wake up, let a pep talk be the first thing that you indulge in, okay? As soon as you open your eyes, you say, thank you, God, for providing. Thank you, God, for a miracle. Thank you, God, for aligning me with blessings, with people that can help me, with resources. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, God, for everything that you've already done for me and everything that is to come. Thank you, God, for blessing me. Thank you, God, for my health. Thank you, God, for my vitality. Thank you, God, for my career. Thank you, God, for the money. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the hardships. Thank you, God, for the tribulations. Thank you, God, for the strength. Thank you, God, for the guidance, okay? Get into that Christ consciousness, honey. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing Todd. Who, what's his name? Todd. He's a pastor, a preacher. You can watch him or be called to watch him. Yes. Rejoice and celebration. Okay, you could benefit from gospel music at this time. I'm hearing joy, 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 joy. Okay, just tap into it. Tap into it. Tap into that Christ consciousness because God is providing for you. You are a earth angel. You are a chosen one to thing. There's nothing off limits for you, okay? And you are going to be sent like-minded people on your path as well, okay? You're going to have people to celebrate with here, okay? I'm hearing if you were a loner in the past, it wasn't because you prefer to be alone, it was, well, you could have preferred to be alone, but it was because, you know, God hadn't sent you your people yet, okay? But when you receive your people, or you could have felt like, why don't I like nobody, or why don't I resonate with nobody? It's nothing wrong with you. It's just you are a little different, okay? You are in a higher frequency than most people, and God is going to be sending you your people very very soon and these people are going to love you you're going to love these people y'all are always going to be around each other because it's going y'all are going to be able to y'all won't have to like replenish y'all's energy after after leaving each other okay y'all are going to bounce off of each other and help each other grow yes victory and success here okay you can even partner with these people somehow or like find ways to help each other equal give and take here especially if y'all are both creators or both business owners it's like everything will be in alignment everything will bounce off of each other okay you may have a very 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 strong friend group in the near future yes financial and material changes listen if your money was tight honey if your money was funny that is coming to an end god is providing for you this is beautiful Someone is going to be buying jewelry in the near future. Someone is going to be going to like art shows, magician shows, okay? Heavy changes in your stability. Yes, you could, yes, discontent and boredom. It's like the people that were around you, you weren't really resonating with them. You were bored around them. You felt like y'all didn't really share any common interest that is coming to an end here that is coming to an end here yeah solitude choose wisely 
Yes, material and spiritual prosperity, spiritual strength. Yeah, your spirituality definitely separated you from these people. And and that your angels wanted it this way. Your ancestors wanted it this way because this was the time for you to sit in solitude and, and really get to know yourself and to really tap into who you are and your gifts here. With 1010 on the phone and 9 on this, what should we call it? It's like you have to complete a cycle here, okay? Choose wisely. And you chose, honey. You chose us, honey. to um do my intro in spanish <laughs> material harvest i cannot make this up well, we have another nine so you could be a life path number nine and you can resonate with the number nine okay i was just watching a video on nines about how we are true humanitarians we could have often been shown things that bothered us that we couldn't help okay and that is so me i'm always ranting i'm always going on rants to my boyfriends about capitalism um about socialism about like things that feel bigger than you and you feel like you want to help but like sometimes you just feel hopeless but it, it's something that's on your heart okay because i could i could talk about issues in new york and get to crying honey but it's like me alone what i'm gonna do i mean i could do my part but what i'm gonna do it, it will take a lifetime for me to make real, real changes in a in a big city, okay? But when we band together, when we get together here, there's nothing that we can't do here, okay? In material harvest, it's like, I want to see a world where we don't have to pay for food. I want to see a world where we don't have to um, pay for water. I want to live in a world where we can have our own land i want to live in a world where we can barter i want to live in a world where um our money is for enjoyment not for necessities okay i want to i want to experience a world where we don't have to pay for living okay for living in a home okay for being in a safe environment only thing we should be paying for is enjoyment, okay? And it's like, when you're not slaving people all day long, they would want to work. Like, imagine if you don't have to pay rent and all your money just goes to a better quality of life and a sense of experience, learning things, schools, like yeah i'm i'm ready for this economy to shift here i'm very much ready for this economy to shift i'm ready for the new world order i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready i'm ready comment down below i'm ready for a better world i am ready for a better world here i'm ready for all the fast food places to be dismantled okay i'm ready for all of the um big pharma companies to be dismantled i'm ready for real healing to take place within the human race i'm ready for herbs to be free i'm ready for vegetables and fruits to be free listen i'm ready for politicians to be dismantled okay like god will provide god will provide god will provide god will provide God will provide. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.